Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's um, video is going to contain a quick vegetable soup video and also we're going to do a, a banana loaf. Um, obviously it's what I make during the week for the children so I thought I'd share my quick uh, recipes with you. So basically what I've done is I've put all the vegetables in a bowl and I've chopped them all up and then um, I've sauteed the onions and then I just chuck all the vegetables in basically. So now I've completed all the vegetables, everything is in a bowl now. So what we're gonna do is obviously put that in a saucepan and just make sure your onions are a little bit brown before you put the vegetables in. I've just put them all in and then I'm gonna add the spices. What I put in there is paprika, I've added some turmeric, um, garlic and black pepper and uh, obviously I've used some pink salt and then you just get some boiling water and I filled it up to the top and then you just let it stew. And by this time I've added the water and I've put in a vegetable ox and then I've just given it a quick stir and that's all you do basically, just give it a quick stir and you just leave it to set. So I put the soup on for a low heat and I let it simmer about 30 to 40 minutes and then it's ready to uh, blend it. So what I've used is just a hand blender and I've just blended the soup, make sure there was no lumps or anything in the soup because obviously the children don't like any, if they see any vegetables. This is the whole trick about it all. I always add a little bit of a light cream in the soup just to give it that nice, um, thick texture. And then we're gonna do the taste test. So I think it's all done. And then I just add a bit of lemon and we're good to go. So we're gonna go on to making the banana loaf. It's so easy and simple to make. And um, obviously I've tweaked mine a little bit to be a little bit healthier. So this is, you know, what I do. So obviously I've used 140 grams of butter and 140 grams of coconut sugar, which I use, but you can use any sugar you like. Um, I've added two eggs and I've used 140 grams of self-raising flour. You can even you do half and half wholemeal self-raising flour. That's even an option to make it a bit more healthier. And then one teaspoon of baking powder. I've just chucked that all in the food processor and then I've just let it whisk away. And then I've mashed up my two bananas, my ripped bananas, and I've also included those in the food processor. So I'm just gonna use my silicone spoon, which I've used, and I just got the, the edges off. And then I've buttered my uh, loaf tin, so I put butter around the edges and at the bottom. But then I've also added a bit of flour on the bottom area because that stops it from sticking, um, the cake sticking really. I think I've learned that mistake. So when it comes out, you know, it's not stuck to the bottom or anything. And that's helped a lot instead of using parchment paper. So all you do now is you just stick all the um, banana loaf, the mixture, into your loaf tin and then it's ready to go in the oven. Obviously I preheat the oven to 200 and 180 Celsius probably better and I sort of just let the oven warm up before I uh, put the cake in and then you leave it in there for about 50 minutes obviously you just check in between. It's a little bit gooey inside which makes it really tasty and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, do click like and subscribe and leave a comment of course, and I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.